Hi, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua. So today we'll be learning about Unit 6 Digital Marketing. So here, um, digital marketing can allow businesses to reach wider audience. Um, if you see the infographic provided by Global Web Index, 96% around the world are using smartphones, 71% are using laptops. Um, here you can see that most um, it's connected to you. Smartphones connect you with the online channels, digital channels, and also social media channels. Um, you can see that 44% are using um, social media as a main research channel and you can see that 98% are using social media. Around 78% are using Facebook, 85% using YouTube and 59% are using Instagram. But if you see closely here, most of the generation cohorts such as Generation Z, which is you guys, Generation Y, Generation X, Baby Boomers, most of them are using Facebook and YouTube. However, on Instagram, the main audiences, um, they, more than 50% of Generation Z and Generation Y are using Instagram. So you can see here, most uh, different social media channels have different audiences so here when you want to explore or use social media channels for your businesses you can actually use uh, channels that uh, your customers are using so use the term fish where the fish are use the social media channels where your customers are if your customers if you're the target market for your products or services are gen, um, of the young generation like generation Z or Y go aim for Instagram or a, a, create a platform on Facebook or YouTube however if your target market are of the older generation like baby boomers go and create platforms on Facebook and YouTube, not Instagram because Instagram um, only around 29% are using baby boomers, right? So understand where your customers are. Here, um, there are different digital marketing channels. Digital marketing channels are those channels on online, okay? You, you can include emails, websites, social media channels. Social media channel is one part of that digital channels. So social media, like its name, it's um, it's where actually you as a business must connect with your customers. Not only focus on uh, creating business, but it is where you socialize with your customers. So create relationship on social media channels. You don't want to lose them on social media channels. Um, for this matter, I'll just focus on Facebook and Instagram, the most um, quite popular social media channels that you can use. The first thing and foremost, when you create an account on Facebook or Instagram, first thing and foremost is create a use, similar username throughout social, uh, the social media channels that you want to explore uh, on Facebook or Instagram. Here you can see an example where Facebook has um, a username of APKUMSKK while Instagram has a username APKUMS. So it's quite different and it's quite messy when you want to put this at all different materials of your postings or on your advertisements. Um, however, my advice is to create a general and same username that you can create for throughout all the platforms, uh, social media platforms that are that or you want to use. For example, here on the second um, there, you can see there Facebook and Instagram has the same username, APK UMS. So it's quite simpler and it's quite uh, not messy. You can create this and paste this anywhere at any advertisement and everyone will know oh your name on all social media platforms are APK UMS KK. So I don't need to remember what other username you're using on a Facebook, on Instagram, on uh, YouTube. It's all different. It's quite messy for me to remember it. Okay, so that is one of the advice. Second thing is to understand all social media channels have different 
um, posting types. Um, some of them have similar posting types as well. But however, you need to remember that on Instagram, um, Instagram focus more on visual marketing. They only allow the users to post videos and photos. Okay, but however, on Facebook, you can post links, you can post status text wise, you can post videos, photos, um, and events. You can create events. But um, on Instagram and Facebook, there are some similarities as well. You can post all these medias and then it will it will appear on your profile on your profile whether on Instagram or Facebook um, and also it will appear on your followers um, uh, uh, Instagram feed or your followers um, Facebook feed um, other than that you can also create uh, live videos on Instagram or on Facebook stories on Facebook or Instagram However, um, there are differences where Instagram allow you to only create 60 seconds video for your feed, Instagram feed. However, you can actually create longer than 60 second videos, which is called, uh, you can just label it as Instagram television, uh, where you can create a video up to 60 minutes. However, on Facebook, there is no limitation for you to upload a video uh, link or uh, any link on Facebook. So here you can see that there are differences between different social media platforms Okay, the only tips um, that you need to remember when you explore on social media channels is that Social media like I mentioned just now by the word social be social with your customers. You do want to focus more on creating businesses or creating sales on your social media because you have other platforms digital platforms you can focus on that for example your website or your email email marketing um, so on social media create relationship with your customers because customers are on social media not only to con uh, to be connected with their friends they want to connect with the brands they want to find other types of values rather than buying things so build relationship with them one way is to create postings that provide value 80% soft selling 20% of hard selling I'll um, show you later on how to do that create engaging and quality posts you want to create uh, deliver value to your customers here not only to push sales to them okay engaging posts is um, where you understand that this is what they are looking for on a social media other than that you can also post um, consistently this is where it's related to timing of your posting post consistently Tell them you are there every day. You, they can connect with you every day. Um, post about three to five times a day, but not to be labeled as spamming your followers or your fans um, until they can unsubscribe or unlike you on your social media page or account. Uh, other than that, you can actually post the consistency uh, of your branding, colors of your image, and also post at the right time here at the right time means post your content um, you want to reach your customers you want your content reach your customers when they are active on social media on Instagram or on Facebook at least you want your content to appear at the top of their newsfeed not at the lowest bottom until they need to scroll low uh, forever to reach your content so post at the right time here to help you you can actually understand the insights understand when your customers or your fans or your followers are active on your account on your social media Facebook or Instagram um, other than that you can actually follow the rule of posting when in the morning during the rush hour during the lunch time when you are free or during the evening hour when they're coming back from work or before they are going to sleep but however the most important thing is to understand your customers behavior on different social media then it will help you to actually tailor your content and to post your content at the right time so um, I'll go to the next one about 
your content other content strategies in the next video all right okay bye